Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to reset TP-Link Archer BE3600, but I will tell you much more than just how to press a button with a paper clip, and it's gonna be interesting, so watch the full video and let's get into it. It really makes sense to press this reset button just only in two cases, if you forgot your administrator password or if for some reason you just need a fresh start, for example, you move into another place. Uh, so in this case, uh, grab a pin or paper clip, insert in this notch, press and hold the reset button until the power indicator starts blinking. Like this. Then release the button and wait for the power indicator to stop blinking and then you can reconnect your router, uh, set up new Wi-Fi network. I recommend you uh, to set the same Wi-Fi network and password as before to make your devices to connect to the router automatically. But if you are considering hard reset as a method to solve some connection problems or something like this, don't rush and try a reboot first. To do this, in TP-Link Tether application switch to the More tab at the bottom, then scroll all the way down, find System and reboot your device. Wait for about, I don't know, 1.5 minutes uh, until all indicators start glowing solid again and in most cases your problems will be solved. Also to keep your system healthy I recommend you to set up reboot schedule. Tap here, enable this feature and set reboot time when you're sleeping or when, when you're not at home. You can set it every day or every week and so on. Uh, let's say every day at 3 p.m like this. Save your changes and that's it. Let's move on. If you still need hard resets, I recommend you to create a backup first. Uh, let's say you have a lot of settings here, VPN, parent controls, uh, something else, and after hard reset you have to set up everything from scratch, which might be frustrating. So before hard resets, do a backup. Unfortunately, there is no option to create a backup from a mobile application. However, you can easily do it from a web interface of your router from your computer. Uh, to do this, uh, open any web browser and in the search bar type in the router's IP address. By default, it looks like this, if you haven't changed it, of course. Uh, next, hit enter and enter your admin password. You should know this password because you've created it yourself on the router setup and as I told you before, if you forgot this password, the only way to restore it is hard reset your router with a button. So you can close this window and what you need is click on advanced, switch to advanced and find system. On the left pane, click on system, click on back store and click on backup. And it creates a file and saves it to your downloads folder. Uh, then you can hard reset your router in any way. You can factory restore from here or, or you can press that button or you can restore all configuration to default values except your login and cloud account information. You have two options from here as well. Uh, so uh, once you reset your router, uh, set it up again from scratch, uh, then go back to this menu uh, and upload your configuration file from downloads or uh, I recommend you to save it uh, to some safe place. Upload this file and click on restore and your settings will be restored. I recommend you to create this backup file right after you have a successful configuration and right after uh, your settings are good and everything works fine. Uh, do not wait until you have problems and you need a hard reset. Do this after the first setup and after any major changes uh, to your router's settings. That's it. That's how it works. I hope this was interesting and helpful. If yes, consider to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button to support us. Any questions, comment below and see you in the next videos. Be awesome. Bye guys.